Good morning. I'm Dr. Ala Musbah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University. The title of my subject today is Neural Tube Defect. What do we want to discuss today? The definition of neural tube defect, its incidence, causes, types, diagnosis during pregnancy, prognosis, prevention. Neural tube defect is a major birth defect caused by abnormal development of the neural tube. The structure that is present during embryonic life that gives rise to the central nervous system. As you see in this picture, this is a neural tube and here is a defect in the vertebra and the herniation of the meninges of okay. kid. The neural tube forms in the embryo and then closes between second and fourth week following fertilization. A neural tube defect occurs when the neural tube fails to close properly. The two most common types are encephaly and the spina bifida. Neural tube defects also are among the most common birth defects. The incidence of neural tube defect is 1 to 1,300 pregnancies. The exhibit a marked ge geographically variation. It is higher in UK, while it is lower in incidence in Japan. And in Kifali, as regard female to male ratio, is 3 to 1. Other neural tube defect above the lumbar junction show mild female preponderance. Location of the spina bifida primarily in the lower lumbar to sacral region more common. Causes of neural tube defect may be due to unknown cause or due to folic acid deficiency or genetic mutations in the folate and the homocysteine metabolism pathways, concomitant chromosomal liberation, like trisomy 13 and 18, a high fever during first trimester of pregnancy, drugs like phenytoin or valproic acid, antiplatelet drugs, diabetes mellitus during pregnancy, and alcohol is also other causes. As you see in this picture, this is a meningeal seal. Types of neural tube defect may be an open one or closed one according if the neural tissue is exposed and the cerebrospinal fluid, which is called CSF, leakage. If it is Exposed, it is called open. If it is not, it is called closed one. In closed one, the neural tissue is not exposed and the defect is fully epithelialized, although the skin covering the defect may be dysplastic. An example for this, spina bifida occulta. This is closed, neural tube defect. For open neural tube defect, an example of an encephaly or meningeal seal. In open neural tube defects, they are readily visible at birth with the majority being discovered during pregnancy. A while closed, neural tube defect may remain undetected for years, especially in the absence of cutaneous markers. What about the spina bifida, which include two forms, spina bifida occulta or spina bifida manifesta or cystica? Spina bifida occulta, there is failure of one or more vertebrae to close completely. The spinal cord, the spina meninges, and the overlying skin remains intact, as in this picture. 
there is defect but there is no herniation of the meninges as in spina bifida occulta spina bifida manifesta or cystica failure or of one or more vertebra to close completely but here the meninges and the potentially the spinal cord may be through the gap if meninges only it is called meninges seal if meninges and the neural tissue herniate it is called myelo meninges seal this picture show the meninges seal and this picture show the spina bifida occult the symptoms of spina bifida usually asymptomatic in cases with spina bifida occult just possible visible dimple or collection of fat or patch of hair on the skin above the defect on the other side spina bifida cystica symptoms of spinal cord dysfunction including varying degree of motor loss possible flaccid paralysis sensory deficits bladder and bowel dysfunction reach through incontinence of urine and stool the further symptoms include developmental delay cognitive impairment skeletal malformations and hydrocephalus what about the cranial defects cranial defects means cranial cleft formation with involvement of the skull and the brain it includes acrania when the skull bones are absent or anencephaly with variable presentation of diminished cranium and the forebrain as well as cerebellum or encephalocele protrusion of the brain via an opening in the skull an example in this picture for encephalocele this is anencephaly and this is the acrania anencephaly is a serious porous defect which in which the baby is born without parts of the brain and the skull almost all babies born with an encephaly will die shortly after birth and this is an encephaly diagnosed early in pregnancy by ultrasound with frog-like face as you see here in the picture neural tube defect screening is optimally performed between 16 and 18 weeks of gestation by measuring maternal serum alpha fetoprotein levels also ultrasound during first and second trimester is recommended in high-risk pregnancy to detect the presence of an encephaly spina bifida or encephal seal as you see in the picture this is in the first trimester ultrasound here absent of the vault was a skull and part of the brain this is an encephaly and on the other side here this picture of encephalo seal this is a swelling emanating from the head what's called the kephalocele by ultrasound diagnosed during pregnancy also in second trimester what about the diagnosis of neural tube defect alpha fetoprotein serum level is considered elevated in single tomb pregnancy if the multiple of the median MOM is 2.5 or more and you can consider 1.9 or more for those with insulin dependent diabetes for twin pregnancy alpha fetoprotein is considered elevated if the multiple of median is four or more in cases with elevated maternal cell alpha fetoprotein ultrasonography is recommended to confirm the gestational age or detect the presence of twins and diagnose an encephaly or spina bifida here in the picture there is meninges seal as you see this is the defect and this is the meninges seal as you see here by ultrasound diagnosed during pregnancy an encephaly is almost always fatal or within few hours of birth the survival rate and the degree of handicap surgically correctable to severely disabling of a children with meningomyela seal or encephalo seal vary with the location and the severity of the lesion and the treatment given 
how to prevent the neural tube defect by giving folic acid 0.4 milligram daily period to conception and to continue till the end of the first trimester while in high risk pregnancy you should give a higher dose of folic acid 4 milligram daily and to start the three months period to conception and to continue till the end of the first trimester of pregnancy also try to avoid risk factor like alcohol during pregnancy try to control diabetes as much as you can before planning for pregnancy and do hemoglobin a1c to be sure that the diabetes is controlled in summary, we covered today the definition of the neural tube defect, its incidence, which is about 1 to 1,300 pregnancies, its causes, its types, and diagnosis during pregnancy using ultrasound and serum alpha fetoprotein, and also amniotic fluid serum alpha, uh, alpha fetoprotein level, prognosis, and how to prevent by giving folic acid supplementation during pregnancy and avoid the risk factor and the control of the diabetes. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you. I'm Dr. Alam Sbah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University.